Susanne from CEO from Coinix, and she will speak to us about NFT use cases beyond profile pictures and digital art. Stage is yours. Thank you, Marcel. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you. Great to be back here at Crypto Assets Conference. I'm going to talk today about unexpected NFT use cases, and there are, in fact, a lot of them. So let's get started. Of course, also this time, I'm going to start with the beautiful waves of the internet slide. Obviously, the internet is developing in waves. So the first wave, early beginnings via desktop computers, quite clunky user experience. And Web2 made the internet much more usable and much more interactive, but also way more centralized. And assets in the internet today are, to the most part, still, for example, user-generated content, almost exclusively monetized and owned by big tech companies. And these big tech companies have, over the last years, grown into the most valuable companies in the world through exactly this. And we are now at the very beginning of the third wave of the internet, and NFTs play a big part in it. And in particular, because they have the potential also for fairer distribution of ownership and also distribution of value. So last year, public attention for NFTs exploded. And this was mostly due to very high prices that um, were paid for individual NFTs. And collectibles, including profile pictures, as you can say here, they accounted for the lion's share of trading volume. And in the beginning of this year, in the first half, this trading volume was almost 15 billion US dollars. But now, in the second half of 2022, trading volume is massively down. In fact, on OpenSea, for example, the biggest, biggest NFT marketplace, it plummeted partly 99% compared to January levels. So you could say the first hype is over. But does this also mean that this is the end of NFTs? Of course not. You guessed it. Um, it's more or less the beginning, because people are just starting to understand what NFTs really are. And obviously, when the technology emerged, NFTs used to be scarce. Now they are abundant. And NFTs as such don't have any inherent value. But they are a very powerful tool. And also this hype cycle or bubble that we have seen with NFTs plays a quite important role, role when it comes to mass adoption. Because the super high prices, of course, they attract a lot of attention. And this is rocket fuel for awareness, for knowledge about NFTs, and also for first hands-on experience, even among people who previously had no touch points at all. And also talents from outside, they started to work in the space, and they tend to stay, even as prices fall again. And their work and also their impulses, they lay the foundation for future innovation and growth. And of course, these hype cycles are quite familiar because we have, they also happen in the overall crypto market. And they, in fact, have been fundamental in massively growing the space over the past decade. And uh, Coinix was founded in 2017, so the team was able to witness more than one of these crypto market cycles. Who is Coinix? We are a publicly listed blockchain investment company, and we raise capital via the traditional stock market, and we invest in the broad spectrum of blockchain innovation. 
and thereby make it investable to retail investors and also to professional investors. Uh, we invest in classic VC business and startup equity, in early token projects, but also in liquid crypto assets. And our team is quite diverse from the background in which enables us to invest quite broadly. We invest in blockchain innovation in the new crypto worlds, but also in the traditional industries and across all blockchain killer applications. And of course, NFTs are one of them. And here's our portfolio. Quite a bunch of our portfolio companies and projects, they use NFT technology. And today I'm going to introduce seven NFT use cases with rising complexity and also in a quite limited amount of time. So I really need your attention now. But if afterwards you feel like you would like to learn more, uh, I keep your smartphones ready because I'm going to show a QR code with access to this presentation here and to more information about Coinix and our portfolio companies. So let's start with gaming. This is a more known use case. Our portfolio company Wombat, they offer a novel gaming reward system. And so players of traditional online games, Web2 games, if you will, they are rewarded with NFTs for their gaming progress and gaming time. And of course, NFTs, they mean ownership to the gamer. And this really pushes the engagement with the game. And also traditional game studios have recognized this by now. And more than 20 of them have already integrated via Wombat NFTs into more than 40 AAA and AA online games. So in Wombat's case, NFTs can represent gaming progress. Now to the world of sports. Soccer clubs often have qu quite big online followings via social media, uh, for example, and these online followings can be many, many times larger than the traditional fan bases. And now we have the Web3 tools which actually enable to create online fan experiences for those online following, which is often distributed across the world which actually come close to the uh, emotional experience that was usually reserved for fans attending games and living nearby. And it, already these online experiences, these Web3 experiences, are being offered, but also to a, a large extent uh, via third parties, for instance, socials or so rare. And clubs and leagues get just a limited control and also limited part of the value creation. And our portfolio company, All Token Sports, they set out to change this and put the clubs and leagues back into the driver's seat. And they are developing a virtual clubhouse infrastructure. And the clubs can offer via a white label app fan experiences such as fan tokens or move to earn games and of course also NFTs. And these NFTs can be uh, media assets of the club or access to metaverse or real life uh, events. And also this um, avatar that you can see in the left hand corner. Uh, this is a fan avatar and it's, um, it, it's made up of a um, uh, changing NFT, so you can train it and it, it further develops and it basically signifies, in this case, the, the NFT signifies fan engagement progress. And now let's move a bit further into the metaverse with our portfolio company YOM. So what's the metaverse anyway? I mean, the, the metaverse is nothing else than the further development um, of the internet, and so what websites or social media are for brands today, will the metaverse be tomorrow? And our portfolio company, YOM, they bring 
already today brands into the metaverse. They help the brands building their own meta worlds where they can host events and also drop virtual versions of real life products. So in Yom's case, an NFT can represent a digital twin of a real life product. Now, Blocksmooth, this is a Web3 mobility platform. And with their product, NFT Ticket, they combine standard NFT technology with additional blockchain-based components, such as verified credentials. And this is quite a powerful combination because uh, they can really bring these online tickets to a new level. For instance, they can automatically personalize. And an example would be a plane ticket that in the event of a delay automatically offers a voucher for free food at the airport. For example, so in, uh, in NF tickets case, an NFT can be a very innovative ticket. And now to the world of social media again. We've heard it before. The big social media companies we know today, they are from Web2. And they almost exclusively own and monetize user-generated content for themselves. And this is in contrast to Web3 Web social media, because here it's the user who owns and monetizes his or her content. And our portfolio company, Newcoin, is a blockchain that serves as a infrastructure for these novel Web3 social applications. And on Newcoin, every creator is its own DAO, its own decentralized autonomous organization. And followers can join this DAO and financially participate in the success of the influencer. So content is created in the form of NFTs owned by the DAO. And so in Newcoin's case, NFTs can be social media posts. And now Netix, this is our second to last example. Netix developed a software that can turn any camera into a privacy compliant event scanner. Okay, so what does this mean? It basically means on the camera footage, any personally identifiable information, such as faces or license plates of cars, are automatically canceled out. And only objects or events are being captured. And this could be traffic situation, parking situation, potholes. So quite valuable data for cities or shared mobility providers, and of course also for the end user. And so Netix set out to create the world's largest camera network that more or less crowdsources a digital twin of our environment. And any camera anywhere can run the Netix software, can mine data, and can monetize it on the Netix platform. And this can be from a dash cam, from a smartphone camera, or also from a drone. So what about NFTs? <laughs> Netix mapped the whole physical world into tiles, and every tile is being represented by a land NFT. So for any data mined in a specific tile of land, the owner of the land NFT gets a cut of the data mining revenue. And so in Netix's case, the NFT can represent right to data mining revenue that was generated in a specific geographic. And last but not least, Peak, this is the platform for the machine economy. And what's the machine economy? It basically means machines doing business with each other. And an example is, for instance, an um, autonomous car that generates revenue and also pays other machines for parking or charging. And peak, so what about NFTs in, in peak? Everyone, you and me, we can own these machines via machines, uh, machine NFTs. 
And um, these machine NFTs then represent the ownership in the machine and also the right to a part of the revenue that this machine is generating. And not only that, uh, you can also use this machine NFT in machine DeFi in decentralized finance applications as collateral and this further can generate some yield for the owner of the machine NFT. So to summarize, put very simply, just like cryptocurrencies can represent money on the blockchain, NFTs can represent goods or anything with unique properties. And this can be services or data or rights, you name it. So you see endless use cases already today, and this is actually a quite nice overview of use cases that already exist today. But remember, we are just scratching the surface because we are just at the very beginning of this technological wave. And really a lot of the use cases, of the future use cases, I think we cannot even imagine yet. Yeah, so, so much to say about <laughs> NFTs in so little time. <laughs> So if you would like to access this presentation and get more information about Coinings and our portfolio companies, please use this QR code. And also please connect on social media. I would be quite happy to engage. So thank you very much for your attention and enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you, Susanna. That was great. I was actually like... Yeah, you really had me. I wasn't uh, expecting that much variety in NFT use cases. I mean, some stuff was really far out there, right? I mean, Natix is like, that, that, that surprised me the most, to be quite yes. honest. Yeah, so there's really there's a ginormous opportunity, ginormous potential in NFTs. And I think it, it sometimes gets a bad rap because people only look at profile pictures. But yeah, there's much more to it. Thank you very much for the presentation. Thanks. Um, there is a question for, uh, in the audience. Um, could you read them out uh, so that I can forward it to Susanna, please? Okay. Okay, it's kind of a long question, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm cutting it short and I really need you to answer uh, briefly. What kind of legislation would you uh, like to see in terms of NFTs as a vehicle for ownership, uh, as a vehicle for rights as well? Yeah, that's a very good question. I, I, ho I wish I could answer this very easily, but I think what's important is, is just, you know, to, to um, yeah, take it easily with um, the, with the um, uh, regulation and I think I mean there's as we've seen before there is like step by step it's approaching uh, the topic some some nfts are covered already some are not covered yeah but I think um, yeah we have to find out but I think what's important is that people and also the legislator really understand what nfts are and what nfts can do so they can take this into account fantastic thank you so much Susanne. Susanne Fromm from Coinix, everyone.